the latest version of CR Droid is released. We have the latest security patch which is May 2025. This is the latest one while making this video. And many customer rooms are providing you May security patch based on latest Android 15. And by the way, in case you don't know, Android 16 is now officially live and we are getting the new beta update very, very soon. Also, the stable update is coming just in a few days. So if you are excited about the if you are excited about it, it's good because that is giving you complete new UI and that is quite exciting. But let's move on to CR Dread firstly. The launcher, you just know everything is simple, clean, which is already there previously. It's not having the Pixel Launcher pre-installed. It is having this Launcher 3. Having similar options, clear all button is there, screenshot option is there, circle to search is also implemented. By the way, it's working fine. And even if it is not, you just have to update Google App once, as I always say in my videos. So simply update Google App once from your, from your Google Play Store and then this is it. That's done. Play Integrity. One thing which is actually missing from CR Droid from some time is you cannot update play integrity by just clicking in settings like the options available in some other custom rooms. But in this case, we just have a toggle available for that. So if you have enabled that, it's good. By the way, because in case if play integrity fails at some times, you just have to reboot your device and play integrity will pass again because they release a new fix almost as certain as possible, as soon as possible, they see that we have some issues with that. So CR Droid, that's a really good thing. Bootloader spoofing, unfortunately, it's also not there. So bootloader is showing as unlocked. If you want to spoof bootloader locking, you can do that with the help of some modules. One thing which is new in this one is a disable option for non-system apps. Yes, this is actually something different. Most likely you had this disable option for almost every system app in these sort of custom rooms. But in this case, even if you use a if you use any app which is not a system one this is user app i'm talking about but we still have the disable option available for that this is available with this new update only in private dns mode we have many dns options available and we have the new one named as comms dns which was not there previously but i personally use adgar dns let me know which one do you use like cloudflare dns is also quite famous clean browsing dns is also quite famous so I guess you might tried that already. If you move on to quick settings panel, you have Android 11 style volume panel, Android 11 style quick settings panel already there. You can enable that very easily, but not enabled by default. We have the mods option available, which is now, which is actually an upgraded version of do not disturb. It's also present. And if you take a look at the game space, by default game space is present in some CR Droid settings but this game bar option which is right now quite common in many custom rooms and I'm talking about generally I mean it's available for Poco F5 users but for other devices other users it might be there too game bar has some tweaks available for you which are actually quite useful cloned apps features if cloned app feature is actually also present available working fine you have some issues with that for some of the users but Yes, it is working fine without any issues in this case. Private space is a different thing, but this cloned apps option is a different thing. It's available, it's working fine. You can use it in case you want to. Looking forward to app lock. By default, the app lock is already present with the default launcher. But in case you want to change the launcher for any reason, then app lock is still present in the settings app. So that's quite good. You can use some custom launchers in case you want to. In miscellaneous options, you will find the game space, which is useful for some of the users if you want to experience gaming. Google Play integrity spoof, as I just told you at the starting of the video, higher FPS in games, unlimited photo storage, app downgrade, and many more options. And there is nothing new. Note, not a single new option available as compared to previous update. The major changes were, which I just already shown you, and this is it what we have. If you move on to some options which are already available in this one, for example, in status bar options, you just find that padding options are present. These are quite underrated ones, but so useful. You have the option to adjust the top padding, left and right ones, and also have some tweaks related to lock screen. Like we have the smart space option present for that. We have the option to customize the weather settings. So if you want to enable the weather settings on home screen on lock screen weather options on lock screen or not the option is available for you some gestures some everything other options basically like user interface we have some option available for that notification styles power menu styles icon pack customizations icon shape customizations and many many more things 
if you move on to notification section let me show you if you move on to notification section what we have we have the option for in call vibration options but we have the option for heads up notification so which you can use this option named as less boring heads up that's a very basic thing quite underrated but so useful and also have the option for force stop button so this is what we have so these were the things just wanted to let you know if you want to try it out on a device you can link is available in the description thanks for watching we'll see you in the next one take care